Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our tech is and in this video I'm gonna show how to fix uh, iCloud lock for iPhones with custom firmware method. So for that basically first of all you require these two files. Uh, the very first important thing is that you require a PC for that. That is must be Windows 7 with 64-bit processor and you require to download these two files you can download it from the given link below the description the first one is the uh, modded itunes and the second one is the custom firmware for your phone so uh, just uh, and the third one you require a original cable which comes with the phone so here it is the uh, the cable which you require to uh, to unlock the phone so you can see uh, my uh, cable was little bit teared down but it's, an, it's no not a big deal you can completely use it properly so if your if your cable was a duplicate or replica it will not work it might be chances that it's you get errors so so first of all um, it required to boot up boots up your computer with the disabling the driver signature enforcement so after that simply uh, simply let's let's start so after that simply um, copy this uh, simply um, rename this file to that simply rename it to 4.7 11.4 that is a 11.4 version so simply rename it and then after that up uh, then open the iTunes so now so first of all if and after that if it's ask for any kind of like uh, upgrading your iTunes then no need to do that if you upgrade then then it will not work it will jump on the original iTunes it will not be more it then so make sure that you did not upgrade your iTunes and if you already installed a iTunes then you require to uninstall the iTunes and reboot your PC then after that install the modded iTunes so after that so let's start the process so here it is let's connect it you can see uh, there is a charging there is a charging is going on on the back so and it seems connected iPhone was connected here on my PC also so let's uh, turn on the phone in here it is i activation lock asking for the icloud activation lock so let's uh, turn on the piece, uh, phone in the itunes mode with holding the power button and the home button make sure your phone gets blank screen and when you see the uh, apple logo on the screen then then simply only hold the home button and it will jump on the iTunes screen so here it is you can see uh, the phone was already jumped on the iTunes screen so let's take this here and now let's see what it says okay great now from here you quite to uh, press the shift button from your keyboard just simply uh, press the shift button while pressing the shift button then click on the update button so now you can select your file so i basically saved it on my desktop so let's check it out there on the desktop this is the file so let's open it up and then update items will update so now let's update it and right now the software was extracting and the complete process will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes max to max so let's check it out and if it's uh, taking uh, more than 15 minutes or 20 minutes then it's chance to uh, you, you, your uh, there's something wrong so you required to do it again so let's check it out first
how it seems like updating the iPhone software. Let's check it out.
so now it seems to be a completed so already iPhones has been reflected on the PC and let's see check it out okay here it is uh, an update carrier setting so it will uh, if you will also get the same uh, message throughout that is an update to the carrier setting of your iPhone is available or you like to download it now so make sure to cancel it okay so let's cancel it and sometimes uh, if you if you already have iPhones and if you backed up your iPhone on your uh, Next on your on your PC, then you will uh, ask for this uh, setup that is restored from the previous backups, uh, which is I have last backed my iPhone was in one one two thousand eighteen. So make sure if your backed up was uh, encrypted with the iCloud ID and the password, then don't up, uh, don't don't restore the backup. Then it will again ask for the same iCloud ID and the password. If it's if the uh, if the ba in the backup if you know this iCloud ID and the password on which you take the backup of your phone then you can restore from the back uh, backup I will most probably prefer you to set it set it as a new iPhone so let's set up it and get started so you can see my phone has been uh, taken the PC's name that is the our tech is iPhone now and 64 gigabyte phone and let's check it out so here it is uh, I can now set up it as I like so now it's uh, okay here it is no required to sign in with the Wi-Fi network as it's already connected and uh, with uh, already like connected with the PC that's why it does not require any another network so now it's asking for the touch ID and the password passcode don't use passcode don't use passcode and again set up it as a new iPhone forgot uh, don't I have uh, don't use and agree continue continue I don't want to set up the Siri now disable location service now return setting don't send choose view next so it is welcome to the iPhone so here it is you can see now I can so it is completely unlocked the phone is now completely unlocked there is now no need to uh, sign in with the iCloud ID here it is let's check it out in the setting there is no iCloud required to sign it with your phone so it's completely unlocked so this is the way in that way you can lock your iPhone easily with custom firmware method so if you like this video then please click on thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe this video thanks for watching this